I'm Father Robert Balasser, the Digital Jesuit, host of TWIET, This Week in Enterprise Tech on the TWIT Network. And I'm taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 LTE edition on Sprint. At just under 6 inches long, 3.17 inches wide, and 0.37 inches thick, the Galaxy Note 2 is the largest phone in Samsung's lineup. It sports a 1280 x 720 HD Super AMOLED screen and is driven by a 1.6 GHz quad-core Samsung Exynos processor, supported by 2 GB of system memory. The screen is big and beautiful, 5.5 inches with no discernible light leaning and a nice warm color temperature. The screen is overlaid by a Wacom digitizer that along with the included S Pen stylus supports pressure sensitive applications and a new hover mode that interacts with the S Pen even when it's not touching the screen. A nice bit of functionality when combined with the button on the S Pen. In use, the screen and processor perform flawlessly together with fluid motion, absolutely stunning picture clarity and enough firepower to run graphics intensive software. Our review unit ran on Android Jelly Bean 411 and came equipped with 16 gigabytes of internal memory and an expansion slot that could accept micro SD cards up to 64 gigabytes. The Note 2 also supports NFC or near field communication tags. The phone can read and program NFC tags to automatically perform functions such as opening web pages, checking into geolocating services, and sending messages. Samsung includes a 1.9 megapixel camera in the front and an 8-megapixel camera in the back, complete with LED flash. Pictures were sharp, and the specialty features like burst mode and panorama are excellent. Video was also sharp and well-saturated, though it could have used image stabilization. Battery life is phenomenal, considering the size of the screen on the Note 2. The 3.8-volt, 3100mAh battery is rated for up to 15 hours of talk and 300 hours of standby. In our rundown test, that was the equivalent of 6 hours of 100% utilization and almost 2 full days of typical use. The Note 2 supports windowed applications, probably the only phone with enough screen real estate to do it properly, and comes with the little touches that make it so functional, including a physical home button, face detection so that the screen doesn't rotate when you're reading the screen on your side, replaceable back covers, and even a warning function if you walk away from your S Pen. Also, for those who are worried about size, let me assure you that yes, the Note 2 will fit in your back pocket. As nice as the hardware is, I wasn't really evaluating the phone, but the service. Our Galaxy Note 2 unit was tied to Sprint's LTE service and is theoretically able to transfer data at up to 100 megabits per second down and 50 megabits per second up, though my results were markedly less impressive. I tested the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Sprint's network in cities across the country, and though the highest test value I found, 15 megabits per second down and 10 megabits per second up, with a 58 millisecond ping time were acceptable, I was only able to get that speed once. Most of my results were dismal, sub-megabit speeds, when LTE wasn't available or stable. Not too long ago, Leo Laporte did a review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 International Edition, and he found it to be a remarkable phone. I really don't have anything to add above that. It is incredibly well designed. It may be big, it may be a phablet, but it fits comfortably in my hand. I mean, it feels the right size, even though it dwarfs most other phones. Also, they've designed it well. It just it looks nice, it feels nice, it looks sexy. And they've included all the little features, things like the accessory covers, so that I can add a cover to the phone without having to worry about a, a lot of additional weight or size. Things like the, the functionality they've added so that I can do this and take a screenshot, or the quality of the camera, and the functionality of the panorama mode, or even the stylus. The stylus really is well integrated into the device. If I'm on a call and I pull out the stylus, it will automatically bring up a notepad so I can take notes and attach it to that call. It's the things like that that make this an integrated communications device more than just another phone with a bunch of doodads. If I was looking at just the phone, it would be an absolute buy. But the problem is that I'm not looking at the phone, I'm looking at the service, specifically at Sprint's LTE service. And in that respect, it doesn't do so well. I tested this phone in DC, in New York, Atlanta, Detroit, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and pretty much the only place where I could get a solid LTE signal was here in Petaluma. That does not bode well for a cell phone service that's supposed to be good where people actually live. 
In fact, when compared to my Galaxy Nexus on T-Mobile's HSPA Plus, well, this just got beat. In fact, it didn't get beat, it got spanked. This had an order of magnitude faster a bandwidth on average and aggregate than the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And more than just speed, it's the reliability of the connection. You see, this using HSPA Plus, if I need to hand off to GSM down to 3G, I pretty much always keep the call. There may be a hiccup or two, but I almost always continue my cell phone call. I almost always continue my data stream. With LTE, right now they don't have a really reliable way to hand down if I have to go from an LTE service down to 2G, 3G, CDMA. What that means is that especially on a network like Sprint's, which is not, well, mature, I'm always going to be dropping calls. I'm always going to be dropping the data stream. In fact, on the way up to the brick house this morning, I was trying to use this to stream the Twit stream, and I had to restart it no fewer than four times. That's just not acceptable. If I'm looking at this and I have to give you a buy, try, or don't buy, unfortunately, because of the immaturity of the LTE service on the Sprint service, I have to say it's a definite don't buy. This has been the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 LTE on Sprint.